Are you having a party this weekend for us? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the pool's uh, done. It's all cleaned out. Oh. So I think pool cam. Could you have a non-alcoholic party for me and Jimmy so we don't feel awkward? What does that mean? Like water? It could be funny. Soda? You put it on a webcam, watch it trembling as you're trying to go through the day without a beer. The DTs. As me and Jimmy are having a good time with non-alcoholic fun. Yeah. It happened. Well, <laughs> I don't think they're replacing the keg. We burnt out the uh, Bud Light keg last night. Yeah. And from what Danny says, the uh, the uh, Guinness keg is getting a little light. What? How many yeah. kegs have you gone through? Are you marking the wall like I told you? That's a good idea. Get like a, just like a old school like mm. you know yeah board or whatever with chalk and just like just mark them as that. they go. How many how many uh, kegs have you gone through? At uh, four, four kegs already at your yeah. house? Yeah, I know. You only started getting kegs like a month and a half ago. I know. Two months ago, maybe. I, we were just we were having this conversation yesterday, and I, we finally pinpointed that it's pretty much been a new keg every 10 to 12 days. For how yeah. many people? <laughs> One. <laughs> oh, my God. A and I have to take a Guinness shit right now. So fucking man up you and shit your pants. We're doing a show. When you left, <laughs> that's true. I really don't. Right. Oh my god, it just it just came off. <laughs> I get a shit. <laughs> Please God, let him shit his pants on the way to the bathroom. I think he's starting to lose his lose his bowels. I want Anthony to trip so bad and get fucking shit all over the back of yeah, his leg. I think he's got weak bowel muscles. <laughs> <laughs> his jacket's all. I got This is pathetic. How sad his jacket looks. Yeah. Just hanging on the back of the chair with no one in it. Poor Anthony. He's just got to take a Guinness shit. He'll be all right, Jimmy. What is? It's amazing how your body works, though. Like, you're doing fine one second, and all of a sudden, you have to shit. It, it's it's an overwhelming mm -hmm. desire to shit. It, it's, it's like, I'm doing fine. I have to shit now. <laughs> now! We were shitting this morning <laughs> together, right? No, I walked in the bathroom. Um, I, I just took a leak. And I looked under the stall, because you just do when you see one stall door closed. And I knew it was Opie's sneakers. And I wanted to start talking to him because I was at the urinal, but I'm like, I wasn't 100%. And I'm like, just feeling so uncomfortable in this place mm -hmm. and knowing that the company would probably never back me on anything. You could have got uh, me. You, oh, no kidding. That's why I, the light switch, I couldn't do anything like that. I just, I wasn't 100% sure it was you. You could have got me in. back from my video I made of you on the shitter. Oh, can you imagine if I fucking put the video camera under it? It wasn't <laughs> somebody <open>? else. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> That'd be some guy from OutQ. <laughs> 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 Falls in love with me in my hand. <laughs> All uh, right. I'm uh, I'm really depressed. You want to go into that story, yeah, Jimmy? Yeah, man. I'm fucking your favorite band, Black Sabbath, having some legal troubles. Yeah. And it's funny. Yesterday, uh, which, I was this. Uh, this means the end of Black Sabbath. It is the end officially. of Sabbath as we know it. Yeah. yeah. I was watching uh, for no connected reason. I was watching my footage when I questioned them at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and you can't see me, but you can hear me asking Sabbath questions. And I was just, I just found it. And I was watching it. And um, the, 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 it says, Ozzy's sour Sabbath note. Ozzy Osbourne is going off the rails. Uh, crazy train. Mm. Uh, against one of his Black Sabbath bandmates. The godfather of heavy metal claims Tony Iommi illegally claimed sole ownership of the band's name in a filing with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. So Ozzy is suing Tony for a 50% interest in the Black Sabbath trademark along with a portion of Iomi's profits from use of the name. Why would Iomi, you know, sneak this one past Ozzy? Don't know when he and did get it. get ownership of uh, the Black Sabbath name. Um, I don't know. Um, that sounds a little weird. It, well, Ozzy's been out of the band since... He was out of the band from, say, 1979 or 80. I think 79 they actually asked But he the made Sabbath. He did. Yes. He did, right? Yep. Um, I'm thinking from 79 to 96, or 80 to 96, so about 16 years he was gone, 17 years, then he started... Did Black Sabbath have a hit from 1980 to 1996 when Ozzy was not in the band? They they actually did with Dio. With Dio, Ronnie was a, was a huge... Oh, Ronnie James Dio rules. He but was... I mean, as when he was singing for Black Sabbath, did they actually have a song that people really got into? Yeah, to I, rock radio play it. It was, um, yeah. I mean, Heaven and Hell, Mob Rules. I mean, they were they were actually big albums and big songs. I mean, for for Sabbath, they were nothing like what Paranoid or no, what Ozzy was doing with the band. But they were very successful, um, and so was Ozzy though on his own. He was he was he was doing great with Blizzard of Oz, Diver Madman, and and Sabbath did great with Dio. So it looked like all right, they parted ways, and then uh, Sabbath hit a harder times than Ozzy did. Ozzy just continued to mm -hmm. succeed, and then Ronnie left Sabbath, and fucking Ian Gillen came in. Um, 
The Manhattan federal suit also charges that Osborne's signature lead vocals are largely responsible for the band's extraordinary success, noting this popularity plummeted during his absence from 1980 through 96. So I imagine that's probably Sharon's call, but, I mean, it might be a lot of money. And mm -hmm. I, it was weird, because it's funny, I, I was watching this last night, Sabbath did not play together at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction in 96, Metallica played for them. And, uh, you know, I was, I don't know why, but I heard that there was some legal shit going on. Um, there was some kind of weird legal stuff. Oh, I'm sure this has been uh, going on for a long time now. Yeah, I mean, it was probably it probably had something to do with this. So it's really fucking depressing. Um, you know, whatever. It's business. So right. they'll probably never play together as a band. So I'm I'm lucky I got to see them at all. You know, I probably never should have been able to see them. Just but it just sucks. It's just amazing that it, yeah. it, it gets to that. I mean, come on. Ozzy made Black Sabbath. And, and then Tony Iommi, who's a nice guy. We've interviewed him a couple times. Yeah. I don't understand why he would try to get ownership of uh, the name without Ozzy involved in some way. Well, that's why, if you notice that Oz, Tony cannot use the name, they with Dio now, they're just heaven and hell. They can't use the name Black Sabbath. With uh, So I guess that's a lot of right. what is tied into why they can't use the name Black Sabbath. This has probably been going on for quite a while. But it fucking sucks. Let's say hi to Mongo the Trucker. Mongo. Morning, guys. Hey, buddy. Good morning, uh, Mongo. Uh, I... I um... It's funny how bits from the show kind of go to the listeners because I, I find myself doing Jimmy's a la, la bit to songs every once in a while. What bit? And uh, so the other day I was listening to some song and and uh, after having a couple bowls of raisin bran for the for, for <laughs> breakfast and and I went la, 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 and shit myself. <laughs> Did you really? Good boy. <laughs> that's that's terrific, Mongo. Where are, you, where are you off to today, Mongo? Uh, New Hampshire. I've oh. got an oversized piece of logging equipment. All right. Stop by F.H. Riley's. It's on the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure my permit will cover New York City. Yeah, no kidding. All right, Mongo, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, my brother says that an out-of-towner, at least a couple of weeks, stop in to F.H. Riley's. Yeah. Just amazing. Just amazing. People going through Long Island? Uh, no. Some of these guys are truckers that, that park like somewhere crazy like jersey and then take trains all the way out oh, to wow. long island just to check out the place very cool should mention that uh, that is happening and uh, we certainly appreciate that you care enough to check out the joint i haven't been out there in a long we're time we're going to be remodeling and putting french doors in in the very near future they were supposed to be in but then the dumb rain messed us up so i think he's doing it this weekend the cheesecake was very good mm -hmm. that was my favorite thing this that's my sister's cheesecake fucking shoveling cheesecake into my fat face uh Anthony's making duties. He's he's taking a watery Guinness dump. <laughs> right now, Anthony's probably shitting so hard, his legs are straight out in front of him. <laughs> Poor little Anthony's probably shitting all over the back of his shirt. His fucking little gun hat. And he's not a fan of the shit. <laughs> no, he hates shitting publicly. He hates it. I kind of enjoy the public shit. Not, yeah. not enjoy it, but I, I I have no problem with it. What's wor what's I, I like to shit alone. Like what, I almost felt bad when I walked in this morning. You were taking your dump. Cause I know how nice it is to get here early. And it's like fucking, you know, five of six, and you're taking a quiet shit in this big bathroom, and there's no one in there. Nice. What's worse than when someone comes in and just takes a dump in the stall next to you? You're like, all right. Yeah. Because your own fumes don't bother you, but somebody else comes in and just fucking wrecks the vibe. Absolutely. I had a problem with the wiping thing today. What do you mean? I don't know. I just fucking just, just couldn't get the job done, which means there was another one poking out, waiting to happen. Oh, you broke it off in mid-log? I guess. That's the worst. When you keep wiping and it just seems like an endless fucking supply. It's like it's like taking a uh, like a brown crayon and just making a mark. Yeah. Clean off the mark, make another mark. Clean off the mark, make another mark. That's where you got to wrap the toilet paper around your finger and Hell you shove it up no. your ass and then you pull it out and it's fucking like actually... A lot stuck to it. That's that means there's more coming out. So he's obviously an alcoholic and really needs a lot of help. And oh, I think today. Jesus. Oh, hi, yes. Ant. <laughs> Ant's back. Oh, and Ant is sitting gingerly. <laughs> oh no, he's the, got. Um, he's, you have, do you have a sour cream and onion potato chip crack? <laughs> the crap <laughs> took a second. The sitting there recovering took a while. You, oh, you, you're sitting down sideways. Yeah. A little burning sensation happening. What is it about that? I don't know. Why? Your asshole feels just dirty right now. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to have cranky ass. Good. You think? But I don't want to. A Guinness shit at 6.15? Of course you're going to have cranky ass. I, I think that. Well, yeah. I think what that's all about, your your asshole just opens like extremely wide. Like, all no, right. it's the acid. 
Yeah, but also like you need your your <laughs> asshole to go get Why back does down the asshole normal... have to get open wide for water? Oh, well, you got <laughs> water going acid. on. Oh, what's going on with you? There was no food in there. I've been to his house. What was he going to eat? Fucking piece of the countertop? <laughs> oh, so you just <laughs> wheat pretzels? Just two wheat pretzels and a fucking piece of a ceramic. From a whatever oh, was made of ceramic boo. <laughs> Where were you going there? I don't know, but I think that joke just fell out of your ass into the toilet. That's <laughs> <It's> terrible. <laughs> Fucking watery, acidic, awful joke. Wow, you got acid. Oh uh, yeah. Did you eat yesterday? Yeah. All right. I had some uh, pasta, and then I had uh, uh, chicken parmesan. Mm, yeah. Jeez. So. Mm, yeah. Cheese and Guinness. A little bit of, yeah. <laughs> There's one more thing you need. Let's see. Cheese, Guinness, and pickles. <laughs> to complete the shit trifecta. <laughs> that bit is so stupid, but it works every time. Uh, uh, he's got salt and vinegar chip ass. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, like That's when you walk Jimmy's, yeah. and you feel like there's a potato chip in between your ass cheeks that's all right raw there. and rubbing. It's like, why is that? Yeah, or like, it feels like, like granules. It just, it hurts. It's, and it's very tender. It's like when you dab it with the toilet paper. It's like, ooh, ow, ooh, A little dab. Ooh, ooh. It's ooh. like chapped lips. Ooh, ooh. You ever, like, hours after you take a shit, decide you just have to wipe your ass again? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go in the bathroom and go, you know, I just have to wipe. Oh, I've yeah. done that. You swipe it through, and there's like a fucking, a little light brown. You're like, oh, boy, I was I was lickety split before. It's like I was, yeah. All that is. It's is, like I was walking around with that in my <laughs> ass. Well, all it is is condiments and gravity. That's kind of interesting. All the six <laughs> cents. It's, I'm serious. It sounds like a quirky tabletop book, <laughs> Condiments and Gravity. Condiments and Gravity. <laughs> all the Written by Greg Hughes. All the crap we slap on food to make it taste good, you know, that stuff has to make its way out, too. That's that's my theory. It has to come out. Yeah. Let's say hi to Mike in Ronkonkoma. Mike, you're on the Opie and Anthony Show. Hello. Hey, good morning, boys. Oh, by the way, you? Kevin from Connecticut, you're absolutely right with the bathroom wipes, but we don't have them here at no, Sirius XM. No. Believe of course me. they rule. We all know they rule. I actually had to sneak out. Uh, there was no one in there. I had to sneak out. Get a little water? With the water on to, the tissue. To cool off As I backside. did the old pants around the ankle shuffle. Jeez. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's burning.